Welcome to From AMIA to Armistice, a series of podcasts commissioned by UCL Institute of Education. I'm Simon Bendry, Director of the UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours Programme. In August 2018, students from across the United Kingdom joined students from France, the United States, Canada and Australia on the Western Front to commemorate the Battle of Amiens. This series, recorded largely on location during that battlefield tour, tells the story of the Battle of Amiens in the wider context of the First World War and the road to armistice. In this podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Canada on the battlefield tour. My name is Lucas Pearson. I'm from Coburg, Ontario, Canada. Something that I learned on this trip is how different it is from reading in a book or watching history videos and seeing it in real life with the trenches and all the cemeteries. Something that I'd be doing when I get back is telling people the information that I took in and how much different it is to actually seeing it than just sitting there and trying to visualize it in a book. My name is Jenna McKay. I'm from Labrador, Canada. One thing that I will take away from this is that you will never truly understand how much of an impact the war had on countries like France unless you actually come and visit and tour the sites because just sitting in a classroom learning will not give you the full experience. My name is Jovan Baines. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. One thing I'll take away is the level of preservation and heritage each government tries to keep for the battlefields and trying to keep the battles relevant to each country and the level of contribution that each country had to pay. I'm Kristen Jekylls. I'm from Alberta, Canada. I am going to take away how big the war actually was. There was multiple little battles. Each one has a story, and it's kind of cool to learn and then be able to take it back and talk about it. I'm Sean McCart. I'm from Quebec in Canada. Something I gotta remember when I go back home is it was a smart war, it was not just to kill people. Il y avait plus de tactiques, beaucoup de stratégies. Bonjour, je suis Alexandre Gina du Québec au Canada. Euh, ce que je vais me rappeler le plus, c'est euh, surtout le nombre de personnes qui se sont battues dans cette guerre-là. On ne pense pas vraiment au nombre de personnes en tant que telles qui se sont dévouées juste pour essayer d'avoir une meilleure vie ou juste de valoir leur nation à eux. Hi, I'm Paige Gamache. I'm from Timmins, Ontario, Canada. What I'm taking away from this is that this wasn't really a war of men. It was a war of boys. I noticed on the plaques that a lot of them were 18, 19 years old. That's our age, and it's hard to put yourselves in those shoes, especially when they're the same age as you, doing things that we could never even imagine. Uh, my name is Heidi Kelly. I'm from uh, Quebec, au Canada. Puis euh, la chose que je vais plus me rappeler euh, de la guerre, c'est que genre tous les Canadiens y, y étaient respectés, que genre c'était vraiment important pour eux. My name is Alex Trotter. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in Canada. One thing I can take away from this is how much the country respects the cemeteries and where the soldiers are buried and how prestigious they want the burial grounds to be, especially straightly aligned, making sure everyone still has a place to rest even after death. Hi, my name is Jake Scrivens. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. One thing I'll take away is how many burials there are in different places. They're in farmers' fields. Just don't see that at home. Hi, my name's Dylan Parker. I'm from Smithers, British Columbia. One thing I'm going to take away is that even though the Germans and the Allies were still against each other, Germans were still buried in cemeteries with Allies, showing that even though they were enemies, they still had humanity in their hearts. My name is Rachel Gagne. I'm from Strathmore, Alberta. One thing that I've really taken away from this is the individual messages on each of the stones at the cemeteries, I think that they tell a very personal story for each of the soldiers who died. They were messages that the families of the soldiers had specifically wanted put on each stone, talking about how they wouldn't be forgotten.
My name is Maggie Viano. I'm from Moncton, New Brunswick in Canada. One thing that I'll take away from this is that there's more impact in youth today in the war than I initially thought. So I'm going to understand more as well myself for when I go back to Canada. Hello, my name is Evelyn Roble. I'm from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Something I'm going to take away from this trip is being able to meet everyone from across the world. In the past, as Canada worked with other countries, you got to see how they are able to work together not knowing each other. Here, I was able to meet people from Australia, England, Northern Ireland, and how before we didn't know each other, but we all met and were able to work together and have a great week, which was a really awesome experience that I'll never forget. You have been listening to From Amia to Armistice, a Chrome Radio production for UCL Institute of Education. The producer was Katrina Oliphant, with sound design by Chris Sharp. In our next podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Australia on the Battlefield Tour.